So remember, I want you to remember that in a couple of videos past, I told you that in our case, investment is completely autonomous. So I is just I not. That's it. It's completely autonomous. So back to our graph. So since we know now that I is I not, we can make it so that this horizontal line is as you would have guessed it it's i naught because we don't have like a slope or anything there's no like plus z y in this equation simply an i naught is constant so it's a horizontal line so now that we have that we need to fill fill in the savings and that's what i want to get to right now if i can change the color and that is uh, we start off our savings is this equation, right? So our savings is this equation. We start off with negative C naught. So negative C naught will start here. And then our savings would be something like this. Be something like this. This would be our savings. And this would be our slope. And our slope would be 1 minus b. Because if this was uh, ae equals ae naught uh, plus zy, our negative c naught would be our ae naught, and our 1 minus b would be our z. Now you can see why I layered these on top of each other. Well, we did this with uh, ae equals y, and we pretty much did all this with equilibrium in mind. So when the, when we have this equilibrium spending and equilibrium output, uh, we can just do this. Let's draw a line down here and you can see how how they fit into each other. So this is our equilibrium spending, right? So when when we have uh, equilibrium, our S and our I, they would intersect, and that in that case we would have I equals S, investment equals our savings. So essentially, what I'm saying is, when we have equilibrium, uh, when we have equilibrium spending and equilibrium uh, income. Our income and or, or our investment and our savings would be equal and that's what I wanted to make of it in this video